Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today, this is not the video I was planning to make for today's video. I initially intended for this video to be about the Yodo line. We're going to take a look back at that and talk about, well, the Yodo and her, of course, lower tier counterparts and how they were doing a little time after their release. But instead, we are going to talk about a trend I'm noticing more and more and more and more and more and more common in high tier gameplay. And that is this, I don't even think you would call it a lemon train, because a lemon train at least moves. This just tendency for either like half or three quarters of the team to go to a cap and sit behind an island as they face down the terror of two to three enemy ships. Now you see, the Yodo is a long range HE spammy slash torpedo focused light cruiser. She has 15 guns, long range, kind of floaty as shells. They can still get where they're going to. Not quite as bad as like the American uh, shells. But again, you know, typically you play it from like, you know, 15 ish kilometers. And you use your range and torpedoes to either kite players into your shells and torpedoes or you just burn them down with your shells. Now, the Yodo is typically pay, played, you know, middle of the pack towards the back because of that. It doesn't have much armor at all, as I'm sure many of you that play battleships have, you know, um, salivated upon seeing a Yodo on your flank. But anyway, that's not how I was having to play the thing for the past those six or seven games. Um, no, instead, I kept repeatedly finding myself being the furthest ship up on my team, with the exception of maybe one or two brave destroyers that are actually going out there and doing destroyer things. So, I don't know if you guys ever played a Yodo at the front of the pack like this. It's not that fun, and um, I had, I think, three matches in a row where before the 10 minute mark, I'd already surpassed like 1.2, 1.5 million potential damage, just because, well, I was the thing that the enemies could see and shoot at, and not the rest of the team in the match you're watching the background right now i didn't stop to count but i'm pretty sure darn near 80 to 90 percent of the friendly team goes to the same cap that i went to the c cap and they just sit there in the back with the carrier like literally the carrier has like six or seven ships just milling about him in the island that he's at all while we are facing down the terror of a single saint vincent a johan de witt and a fletcher i think there was like another cruiser or submarine off to the side so you know four ships ish against like literally nine ships and the team just sits there and sits there and sits there and it's not like there's no spotting like we have a carrier that's still alive the uh friendly dd is actually doing dd things and spotting so we know where everybody's at there's a, a, a massive numbers advantage but no players just sit there and sit there uh, sent there until eventually they do decide to push and <laughs> one of the most oddest occurrences occurs after the teams decide to push so there's a bismarck and there's a schlieffen they both start to push this um the saint vincent who's stuck on an island you know looking at most of the enemy team and for some reason the schlieffen just stops pushing and, and turns around for whatever reason, when it's literally two ships in front of him. And St. Vincent, between myself and the other players that could reach him, you know, he's at like a quarter HP. So it's like, this isn't such an easy kill for the Schlieffen. And the Bismarck's pushing him too. Now, granted, the, the, the Bismarck did have a bunch of Fletcher torpedoes thrown, uh, thrown at him, so I can't really fault him for, you know, not, you know, full tilt going. But, like, the Schlieffen just turns around, and so do the other ships that are pushing, and it's like, what? Well, well, what? It, it's two ships. You're in a Schlieffen that is, you know, over-specially designed to just dive headfirst into the enemy team. And he's like, nah, that's not, no, I'm, I, I, it's too dangerous. It's like, what? What? And keep in mind, again, it's just the Schlieffen, the enemy Fletcher, the Johan de Witt, and a submarine that's milling about somewhere off in the distance. And the Schlieffen just dips out. And now he did eventually turn back around and get going, but it's just like, I, I don't 
understand. You have such a numerical superiority. You have two ships, you know, the, the St. Vincent and the Bismarck, that are excellent tankers and pushers, and you're on the cap that has all the island covered you need, so you're not getting cross-shotted from the other side of the map by the enemy team too much, but everyone just sits there and mills about. And this, so so that happens. And keep in mind, you can imagine my frustration. I, I, I'm in a Yodo, right? Like, I can't push Jack in a Yodo, right? Like, if I was in a Hindenburg, or even, like, something like a Mosfa, or a Puerto Rico, or an Alaska, it's like, yeah, okay, at that point, you're in a cruiser that's tanky enough to kind of push up and kind of get the momentum going, but you can't do that in a Yodo. So I'm just sitting there waiting for something with more armor than me to push up, so I can push up and, you know, do something, right? But it's not happening. It's, it's, it's just not happening until far too late. And then eventually, yes, we do push through this the cap finally get rid of all the enemy ships in the cap and believe it or not you know there's a point at which we, we do have a uh, i think through most of this match we did have a uh, a ship's advantage um, not in terms of ships that were on one location but in terms of the ships that were not sunk we had a ship advantage but guess what when your team spends half of the match in one cap dealing with just three or four ships that doesn't uh, lead to you winning the match too often, right? So we eventually do get out of the sea cap and we do sink the other ships that are around, but guess what? Since we're at like a 500 point disadvantage and most of the time the clock's been ate up, can't do much about that and we still lose. It's, it's such a throw, right? Like, limbing trains can and do work if they move, right? You know, if you have a bunch of ships go to one flank and you just steamroll on through that flank and you, you take the cap and you, you know all coordinate and steamroll to the next cap, that can and does work. But when you all go to one location, uh, one, one location and sit there for half the match because you're afraid to push into three ships. <sighs> and if this was just, you know, like one game every now and then, fine whatever but th th this is like the fifth one i had of these in a row where again the cv for some reason is up further than a good chunk of the team because half the team is sitting behind the cv it's just so ridiculous it's like fellas what are you afraid of like it's a digital ship it doesn't matter if it sinks or not i i, I promise you you know nothing's going to happen to you um if you can't afford the repair cost of your high-tier ship, then maybe you should be playing at mid-tier, because those are a lot cheaper to repair, you know? Um, and I would like to think that by this point, you know, the fear of submarines is kind of gone, especially when you, you, you've you got, you know, eight ships sitting on top of each other. If you spot the submarine, you all drop your ASW on them, the dude's gonna die, right? Right, right, right? Like, I get, you know, if you're by yourself and you see a submarine, that's kind of like, oh, oh, you know, Oh, crap, right? But when you have literally two-thirds of the team sitting on top of each other, there's not a lot that can stop you in those instances. Um, and it was all situations like this, where you know the team grouped up, stayed behind the sea, or stayed behind one island, and um, they waited until like literally half of the fr uh, the enemy team was, was dead. Then they pushed up, but we still lost because, again, surprise, when you let the enemy have two of the three caps for over half of the game, you're, you're not going to win on points. So, fellas, for the love of God, if you're in a tanky battleship, you know, you can use the chat box. It's a really cool feature. You can be like, hey, look, you know, we, 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 we've got all these, these ships here. We can go. We can push. You know, let, let's communicate and let's get something going rather than just sitting behind an island for half of the game, which I don't get why, again, players do that because where's the fun in that? You're sitting there shooting at two ships the entire time that are usually cowering behind their own islands because they see, you know, half or two-thirds of the enemy team sitting there and they know if they, you know, get out from behind their island they're going to perish and when you have the numerical superiority just 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 push already for god's sakes you know and you're in a battleship that things made to get scratched right like it's okay to scratch your paint we're going to charge you for that so yeah it's just incredibly frustrating and again you know if if this didn't happen five times in a row i probably wouldn't be talking about it but it, it seems to be happening more and more often. Um, I'm not saying it happens, you know, five times in a row every day, every time I get on. I've just, I mean, if you've been watching the live streams, um, it happens, like, 
every two or three games there. It's frustrating. And I guess today was just that special kind of day that no one felt like pushing. But the moral of the story is, fellas, for the love of God, push. Use the armor on your ships. Get scratched. You can take some damage. It's fine. It's, you know, no one's going to show up at your house and punish you if your ship gets sunk in a push or, or whatever. But... Yeah, that's my little rant for today, fellas. Um, I don't know, might revisit the Yoda line in the future. Maybe I'm just cursed uh, cursed to not play it today or whatever. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below if you've had your own experiences with incredibly passive teams that like to huddle around the CV in the back of the map for whatever reason and just watch all the, the light cruisers and DDs try to do the work. But yeah again again guys let me know what you guys think in the comments down below hope you guys have a wonderful day and wonderful rest of your week and hope to catch you guys in the next one